The senator from Pennsylvania finally showed up to work after a stroke and hospitalization. He just made his first speech. It is so embarrassing. You need to see it. Let's start off with your favorite senator. Um, <laughs> I'm being facetious, of course, John Fetterman, who, as we know, had a stroke while he was running for the Senate. And everybody said, geez, oh, you know, this guy's got to drop out, but he was already the nominee. And then there are all these constitutional questions. Well, if he does drop out, who takes the Democrat ticket? So instead of doing the right thing, which is replace the guy, because he was unable to talk, unable to uh, attend a press conference. And I mean that literally. He literally couldn't, could barely speak. And he couldn't read or feed qu uh, field questions because, as the neurologist explained, his brain got scrambled. Well, he gets elected. He gets sworn into office and he never goes to work because he can't. And then... When he gets out of the hospital, he goes back to the hospital because now he has clinical depression. Well, big news, Will. Your favorite senator reported to work this week. He showed up in short pants, tennis shoes with no socks, and a hoodie. They dropped him off at the Capitol steps. He could barely walk up the steps. Got into the building somehow, and they dressed him. I have the video of his first speech in Congress. You won't believe it. It's cringeworthy. Here it is. I called to this hearing of the U.S. Senate Subcommittee and Food and Nutrition, especially crops, organics, and research to order. Chairwoman Stevenow. And Ranking Member Boozman, thank you so much for coming. I thank you for your leadership on this committee, and I look forward to working with you to pass a farm bill. A farm bill that works for small far farmers, rural communities, and hungry Americans. I would also like to thank my Ranking Member, Senator Braun. And I look forward to working closely with you. SNAP is one of the most effective programs to fight hunger and poverty in the country. In my time in effort in IFAS, as the mayor of Braddock to Lieutenant Governor to now, I have heard from Pennsylvanians about their support for a SNAP. Hunger is not a Republican or a Democrat issue. It's all of our issue that we have to take it on. We need to come together and stop playing political games with Americans' access to food. Americans like Chair about Clory Jor from the north to the town of Northeast in Pennsylvania he tells me that his victim was skimming, which was when somebody stole money and he relied from its SNAP EBT. Mr. Jor is not the first Pennsylvanian I've heard this from. I fear he won't be the last and I will work in this farm bill to modernize SNAP to work to recipients in the 21st century. I look forward to from hearing from you, your witness on this nutrition assistance on the farm bill. And I will now turn to Senator Braun for any opening comments that he would like to make. Wow. Will, the uh -huh. Senate is the upper chamber of the United States Congress. The best and the brightest serve in the Senate. That man is barely functional. What do you call this demonstration by John Fetterman, Will? This is exactly what I've been saying. They don't care if you're brain dead, if you're alive, burnt weekend at Bernie's, weekend at Barney's, whatever it is. 
long as you're occupying the seat, they can care less. This is a total disgrace to what we call the federal government. A hundred percent. Very well said. And I, I wanted to play the whole introduction. <laughs> he obviously didn't write it. He couldn't read it. He can barely speak. And he's got that guy behind him, his aide with the two big ear extension things, you know, so everybody knows how woke that office is. Yeah, right. Right. Good looking guy with the big ear extender things. I don't even know what you call those things. Those those actually came out of Africa, you know, because they, they do them in the ears, they do them in the nose, they do them in their lips. You know, that was it was African culture that they were doing. It. And I guess that's them saying that we're being inclusive into other cultures. I, I have no idea why they do it, but well, but that's where it, that's where it originated from. Isn't isn't that cultural appropriation? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, the point is this man can't talk, think or read. And he's in the Senate. And nobody cares. Yeah, yeah. They're just overlooking it. I could do a better job. <laughs> I, my Labrador would at least be entertaining. Yeah, right. Uh, okay. And she's very cute. And she's black. So it would be the right, you know, um, mix of black, white, whatever. In this case, you've got John Fetterman, a.k.a. Uncle Fester, who can't talk, can't read, can't think. But they got his vote. Yeah. And, yeah. and I was going to mention one more thing, which is really weird. There's all these articles coming out how John Fetterman is signing on to co-sponsor bills, but he hasn't been in his office since Inauguration Day. And they say he has trouble reading and he his mental processes because of his strokes are not allowing him to intelligently process information. But he's on a lot of bills, Will. Somebody behind him is pulling the strings and yeah. guiding him where to sit down. Yep. So he's reading the speech like this. And um, my good friend here and my friend over there. And this is great. Yeah, that's exactly that's that's why I was saying they can care less. I mean, that's why Joe Biden is where he is, because you can be completely brain dead and they'll they'll do everything else for you. Just go out there, say these things on the teleprompter, end quote, and we'll, <laughs> and everything else will be falling into place. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. It's ridiculous. This is this is a total embarrassment. The rest of the world is laughing at us. We used to be respected by the world, and now we're just a laughing stock. <laughs> 